Yo, what's good people? Fuji here and I welcome you back to another one of these player reviews. Today's player we have in the spotlight is informed Diego Costa. Now he does play for Atletico de Madrid. Liga BVA is the league which he plays in and he does come from the Brazilian nation. Now if you do wish to actually head over to www.footways.com to find the latest in-game stats for non-informed and informed players then you will be able to find Diego Costa over there. But this is a team which I did actually play him in. Uh, I switched him about a little bit uh, to cater for other players but this is the main squad that he did actually feature in. So I'm going to be splitting this review up into uh, segments and we're going to start off with his pace now he's got 77 acceleration 89 sprint speed and 94 strength now on paper that looks very very good but at times I felt that he was a little sluggish and it would take him a long time to reach that 89 sprint speed and it's very hard to notice when that does actually come into play but there is one clip in particular that shows all these three stats working hand in hand and it was very nice to see that he actually did bag himself a goal with it but moving on to his shot and it's very inconsistent at times I'd, I'd actually find himself uh, clean through for him to only smash it right down the middle and that was time and time again he did that for me uh, having said that though he scored a number of goals and it was just getting him in the right place at the right time I think the 87 attacking positioning only works around about 25% because the other percentage he's playing more like a cam but with that high to high work rate honestly it really did affect him but moving on to his passing and, and his passing was surprisingly decent actually I got a, quite a few assists and I put through a few of the other strikers so overall I think uh, 60 uh, on his uh, card stat feels a lot more like 70 to 75 but moving on to his dribbling and the guy just can't dribble uh, all that Costa is good for is uh, well most efficient that I found him to do was retrieving the ball while receiving it uh, near the box to turn using his strength and finishing it off if you're trying to run and skill with him like I did you're going to find yourself uh, becoming very very frustrated but moving on to his heading and uh, with the work rates he doesn't really get in the box as much uh, I would like him to but I scored a few headers and expect him well I did actually expect him to he's standing at height at 6 for 2 with 84 heading accuracy and some of the headed goals that he did actually score which will be uh, near the end of these uh, clips uh, it was very very good but my overall opinion on Diego Costa is that he's nowhere near the worth 200k which I did actually pay for him he's more or less a 60 to 80k player so if you are looking for a target man striker to drop off to that cam slash centre forward uh, position most of the game then he's perfect for you but if you're looking for someone to provide you with uh, well genuine pace really good shooting ability which is consistent and great skill on the ball then Lucas Ware but my overall uh, rating for Diego Costa is going to be a 7.5 out of 10 so lads I'm going to be reviewing uh, Inform Neymar in the next couple of days so uh, do let me know which other players that you would like to be seen uh, reviewed uh, but then if you could hit the like button and show your support it's ever so much appreciated uh, and if you've got any comments and recommendations please do leave it in the comment section below but take it easy lads thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next review peace